trying to see what's up. How that shorty clean the pendants, I'm a diamond in the rough. Ah. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a potential classic in store as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. The winner here, of course, a trip to Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Not a bad prize as we are underway in the NFC Championship game. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. This is second and eight. set up to throw it here. Gets this one to use check. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And the big game the ball the Oftentimes it's called a surprise to the defense because not only are the balls a pass catch, but it often works when they decide to dial it up. Tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Purdy. And that is incomplete. Oh, yeah. that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they're probably have to punt it away. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. 
And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now hang on here because DeAndre Swift... So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Again, it's Penny, and they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you use the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain.
Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. It's now third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. And the 49ers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. This will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out.
first down. This is McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now Purdy. Left side that's caught by Mitchell. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he takes a shot on the release as this until he was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. at the line this Philly offense set to go their second drive here the ball game charge remember last time they threw the interception but the defense held up it bent a little but didn't break only giving up the three points yeah obviously they left some points on the table there the last time out but boy they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick their turn now back out on the field put together a good drive and get some points of their own now, second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Play action. Here's Hurts. The 20! And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They set up the screen to Penny. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Sack back around the eight. 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. Third and five. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Niners are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Back to throw, Purdy. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Oh, boy, Christian McCaffrey shaken up. So hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The line has a lot of these couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. Samuel in motion. That's Samuel caught left side. And he'll be down to the of the first down marker. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. Oh, 
This is taken at the 10. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Here's second and seven. going to keep it running right. Down the sideline he goes. And finally brought down at the 43. 39 yards there. A big one. First and ten, it's Hurts. Now he'll escape to his right. That one complete down the field to Smith. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking round and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Hurts. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here's second and ten. Hurts to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. 
Hurts sets up to throw it. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. So they'll get 8 out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his run back out of the backfield. Touchdown! He shot down. A nine-yard touchdown ground. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this NFC Championship game. It took a pretty big risk right there, going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. This is a quick incompletion. This is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half. Purdy taking a shot for Samuel. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go and I think here with the lead CD they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead would you agree absolutely I would agree because and Hurts is intercepted his throw to the game picked up by Traverius Ward and they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20 not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. First play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Play action. Now Purdy. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And showing his strength and quickness there. Loss of four. And it was second and third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Purdy now to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And the Eagles force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. Second half, close game, and we're certainly seeing some exciting plays, but it's really been the defensives. That's now back-to-back -back drives that have ended with interceptions. Yeah, the guys on the other side of the ball, as we like to say, the defenders, they've been the difference makers for their teams. And when they're taking their game up to this kind of a level, I want to see what happens with these offenses. Can they match them as this game goes on? Or will the defenders continue to have full control of this one? The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now this game has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Just shy of the 30. 
This is good for a first down. His second grab of this NFC Championship bout. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. He's got Watkins on the out route. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. So here's a third and 14. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Back to throw. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. Fielded at the 33. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Motion man is Schwartz. This will be caught at Samuel. Down to the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 61 yards. And the Niners have taken the lead here in this third quarter. 
on this stage conference championship game every play is magnified and that was a big play no doubt about it one thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game their big playability they can strike from anywhere Moody good with the extra point and the lead is now 10 to 7 Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. at the line this Philly offense set to go these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance they couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goal post Charles we'll see if they can get a better more sustained drive going here yeah and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing when you start a drive from that deep in your own territory the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then you change the field position right you flip the field a little bit they didn't get that done this time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, we're in the third quarter of the NFC title game. This is second and ten. to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Jordan Davis, just a monster on that play, stopping it from going anywhere. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be about four yards shy of the 20 of the 19 yard game. And 14 back. That's a really nice job. Then picking up the run bullets and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Niners on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. First down, here's Mitchell. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and two. But once again, it's Mitchell. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And with the play clock about to expire, Kyle Shanahan's going to use a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. They gave up the completion there. This is what it's on defense is counting on. Catching the ball and not much right after the catch.
One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Back to the ground here. Mitchell. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only This was just an awesome defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for a possibility of a pass. But that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. And it just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's going to be out of bounds up past the five. 51 yards on the punt there. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. The Hurts going to move them around. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Going deep here for Watkins. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Super Bowl aspirations on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. He'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. Back to throw. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Let's see if he can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field.
Here's second down and three. Straight ahead, it's game well. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And now an audible here into something else. And they'll try and run for it with game one. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Inside of a minute to go now. Two timeouts left. Still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here. They use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. Here's first down. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He's back to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that may do it for this NFC title game. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. And for all these guys, whether you're a rookie, a 